Hey guys, it's your boy ST6 Legend here. In today's video, we're gonna discuss a uh, have a discussion about you know we're gonna have a discussion about GTA 5's future. Also, we're gonna have a discuss. It's gonna be based on that division and destiny. So if you want to see more, stick around. But we're in other news. Let's the end of the ways. Let's hop right into it. All right. So um, that's uh, there's a lot of stuff that's been going around about destiny being killed off about with uh from division i'm doing this because division coming out in a few days and i want to know if if it i, I feel, have a funny feeling it might also kill off gta but i'll get more into the gta aspect after i get done talking about division um division and destiny all right um uh, but like I was saying, Division is, is everybody's talking about how it might kill off um, Destiny because it's the new game on the block. That's going. That is the truth. Everybody's going to play. Going to want to play it. But also, it's based on a, a Luke system. Luke like Luke system. Um, Luke system and everything. Also like Destiny. So, you know, you got Destiny over here that's based on Luke's system and, th and um, Division based on Luke's system. But Destiny's, Destiny's dying off. Like I'm saying dying off. I used to, when Destiny first came out, I'll admit it was hot. Everybody was playing it. I would look on my friends list. I would have so many people playing Destiny. But now, you know, I don't. And so Destiny's basically is dying off anyway. But I think uh, Division might throw that final blow and everything, you know. And, you know, I don't know. But I think GTA has a future, too, also in this. Because, you know, all they have to do is integrate more of a free roam-based, like, add-ons. You know, like, maybe some GTA real-life DLC. Real-life trap DLC, like, you know, how Simeon right here has uh his list of cars that you got to look for and everything you got to look for certain uh, a certain one car and you get paid a certain amount of money if you find that car and lose the cops respray it bring it back to him he'll give you a little cut of the money so if they expand that then i want to see that also and maybe open up more buildings maybe maybe the maybe a club like dance club or something you know maybe like somewhere to go to eat hang out you know like something like that if they add stuff like that it might actually make it even more better but it it is still going ham anyway so no matter what it's still going to be here but and uh but the maps the map I, I can see more adding on like the island and all that like an island or something you know see gta has that for it it has a strong community base and everybody's here supports it i support it i love gta i want to see more of it all the time but destiny on the other hand their community they have a strong they have a huge community but the developer developers do not see that and do not take advantage of that and do not listen to the community what they want do they want what they want to see what they what what can you know what they th they can do and everything and they like to do they mainly focus on like the multiplayer aspect rather than the the pv pve aspect versus ai's and all that you know so you know gta on their hand has a strong base community and has uh, developers that actually pays attention to it you know pays attention to them oh look at that drift oh kill him oh but um pays attention to them and everything you know but does but and continues to add dlc to, to add on to that dlc that's you don't have to pay for you know and it's quality you know it's a quality it's quality dlc which is really cool and they said that they're going to keep it up no matter as long as we have a strong as long as we have people playing gta it's, they said they will keep up with the dlc and all we gotta do is come up with ideas like Lowrider DL, Lowrider um, DLC Part Two, maybe add CJ and Franklin into that, and you know, while and have you play do missions for Franklin, well, and after you do a couple missions for Franklin, he'll introduce you to CJ, an old friend, 
and then you do missions with CJ for a little bit to get used to him, get to know how, see how things been with him and everything. Then you go into more aspect of uh, maybe you know both of them and adding more more of a unlockable real life stuff. I don't know. Just basically, I've been thinking about the the Franklin and Franklin uh, CJ mission like a lot. I think it'll be cool, but that's just me. Um, uh, anyway. If they add, you add more stuff like that, like in car neon lights, I'm just popping stuff out of my head that I have, or I had ideas for GTA. More of a tune-based um, car system, you know, where you can actually tune your cars up in one of these like ghetto little setups. You know, I know there's a lot of, I don't know if y'all ever looked around, but there's a lot of um, auto shops. Uh, if they just add up, like open one of those auto shops up, shops up and everything, and add a tune base, you can. We can then tune our cars, you know, stuff like that. That stuff will keep our community growing and, you know, staying strong. But, like, matchmaking for only PvP and not, and then eat people that play. I personally play when I play, yeah, but, um, see, I, I, I played it more, play Destiny when, uh, you know, we get a little too hype. When, uh, I played Destiny a lot when I was with groups and everything and, I, I liked it more of a, that than more of with groups than anything than anything else. I I didn't see the point in going PvP in it up and going against everybody in the world in it because it just got really boring and tedious, very tedious. But um, yeah. Uh, also, guys, if you liked any of the ideas that I mentioned down below, I want I want y'all to hit that like that like no well not ideas I hit down below, but. I would like to see you guys hit that like button and everything and try to get it up to like, I mean, 20. Another, like I was saying, on ideas for per se, VIP wise, they need to add um, the VIP, more VIP work and challenges. Because I don't like always, I don't know about you guys, but I don't always go into online sessions. I do it when, you know, private sessions get boring. But, you know, other than that, nah. When, oh yeah, and also, if they can add gasoline like limits on here, like so, like per se, I'm in, I'm in private session like I am right now, and I can switch on gas if I want to have people go to the gas station and pay for gas in a session. They could, you know, because why not? You know, real life DLC guys, hit that like button, okay? But um, uh, I don't know. I want to see more. I want to see more of these. These. I want to see more of y'all's ideas also. So hit a comment down below what y'all y'all want to see also added into here, whether it be the real life DLC that I came up with or the um or the part two of Lowrider DLC that I came up with, and you know I just randomly thought up because yeah just because um I'll get into more of the DLC ideas in another video guys because the it, the Destiny Division and GTA. They're very, they're free roam games, you know. GTA is different. All right, this doesn't have Luke base in it, you know. It's not a Luke, Luke like Luke base. I can't say that. I don't know why. Luke, the Luke. Uh, anyway, it, um, it's not that, you know. It's more of the free roam version. That's what brings GTA alive, the free roam, not the long loading screens that everybody hates, and you know, not not. Well, yeah, the cars, yeah, that too. Um, killing for some people, and the world, just the graphics. So you look at the game, you know, like it's so like I like, just like freaking Cali. It's crazy, or well, LA, you know. But um, it's it's very crazy. It's very similar. So you know, this game is has us guy, uh, all of us guys, girls, us gamers. Here to keep it going, you know. So let's do that by coming up with more ideas for Rockstar and give them time to make it quality, you know. Because 360 had its limits, and it, I think they already reached their limits. That's why there's not hardly any updates for GTA on there, and you know, that's that's pretty much it. But uh, anyways, guys, I come come to come to ah to come to a conclusion. <laughs> Good English. To come to a conclusion, I think Destiny will die out at the end of the 
when um whenever division comes out but i hope that uh i hope that we as a strong community will keep uh gta going also and now so give a little destiny a little i'm not destiny give a little division a little boost because i think division has potential also um but anyway anyway if you liked any of the ideas or you liked the video hit a like hit that like button down below if you're new to the channel hit that sub button and uh stay tuned for more high quality gta 5 videos with your boy st6 legend peace